You know, in the beginning when we started missions, just obeying the Lord to go around the world, we didn't have it all figured out. We don't want to pretend here after 40 years of marriage and missions that we have all this nailed down. What we had was in a commitment to the Word of God. And I think you felt very strong about yes, that, didn't you? very much so. And so we just went through the Word. Okay, how does this work? How does marriage work? How, how do kids fit into this? We didn't have a presumption ahead of time um, and no presuppositions like, well, we're not going to do kids now. We're going to wait till later because they're in the way and we couldn't bring them into the mission field or, you know, we have to travel and that doesn't work with kids or we don't have money and we have to buy our own airline tickets. We didn't do any of that analysis. What we did was just go into the Word of God before the Lord and listen to the Holy Spirit and say, we'll go anywhere you want us to go. We'll do anything you want us to do. And we know from the Word of God that marriage and children are one deal. You don't break that, separate that. You're married with the idea you're going to have children and they're a multi-generational blessing. Wouldn't, wouldn't you say that's it, the key? A absolutely. I would add to that also that children are a bridge in the mission field. And, and just life in general, I have been able to share my faith with more people because of my children, not, not because I have too many children. Because my children connect me with people locally in my own neighborhood, but it also globally, when you bring a child into the mission field, what happens? Everyone just gravitates to that child. They think that child is adorable. They want to take pictures. They want to talk to you because they see family as natural in many mission fields around the world. It's unnatural maybe even to go in as one person, but to go in a family, it's very natural. Opens it up. In cultures. We watched this all over, didn't we? Yes. You sit down with other families and meals, but really important here, and we both believe this strongly, the first missions command in the scriptures to be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, then exercise dominion, rule. The dominion and rule that everybody wants to talk about in the church world right now and have been talking about, I think, 30, 40 years we've heard it, they never talk about the children. It is the number one thing God said that you do if you want to take over the world as the body of Christ. If you want the kingdom of God to grow, you have children, you raise them right, they have children, they have children, they have children. Do you remember when the Lord gave me that insight, uh, insight, insight in uh, 1995, I think it was, or 96, about if our kids keep multiplying, you know, and I'm not talking about rabbits here, I'm talking about people, but they have children, they have children, they have children, that we'd have hundreds of millions of descendants that all would establish the kingdom of God. Remember that? That's right. And I would add to that, you know, we have six children and our youngest is 17. But I look at children as not just raising six children, having six children, it's six generational lines of thousands and thousands that follow. So as a mother, that gives me vision to be a mother because I have great eternal impact on the world, on nations, and not only that, we're seeing our own children now are going to unreach people and groups. And enjoying that and they are touching nations and touching the spheres of society, whether it's in the university or even the medical arena now and business, we're seeing those things in our own children and, and even starting grandchildren. So it does work and we're seeing the fruit of it.